Daily Broadside, day 607. It's February, which is Black History Month. And in honor of Black History Month, I'd like to say a word about the incident that happened last night with Killer Mike. Most people on the internet uh, today and yesterday uh, were all, who's Killer Mike? Who's Killer Mike? You know, they'd never heard of the guy before. I've been listening to him for, you know, the better part of... Uh, Eight years. I mean, I, he he popped up my radar probably at least by the 2016 election. Um, he had been on, you know, Bill Maher type shows. Um, there's a great piece a few months ago from uh, Graham Bensinger on his site, who who always does stellar interviews and all. And he's a very thoughtful dude, um, Mike, not Bensinger. Um, although I'm not taking anything away from Bensinger. Um, and you know, it, it just follows the narrative that. You know, there's only a certain number of people that you should pay attention to in the minority community of America. And it's kind of repulsive, quite frankly. Nobody gives any credence to people like Killer Mike, who's a great community activist down in Atlanta, um, very involved in his community, trying to get stuff going, trying to get, um, you know, laws changed and progress made and uh, businesses started and all that. And he's got his hands in a lot of different things. But much like Ice Cube, uh, people that kind of get pushed off to the side because their views don't align with what the masses want you to believe, you know, the powers that be and the people in charge, you know, shove this stuff down your throat. It, I just found it kind of odd that he got arrested and charged with battery on a night where he swept and won three different awards in the rap category. Now, I don't listen to his rap, so I can't really comment on the album. I don't really know much about that. But as a person, although I don't agree with everything he says, um, you know, I do I do appreciate his uh, the conversations that I've heard him have. And, you know, I got to thinking about it, too. I was like, I don't think there's a person on this earth that I agree with completely. Um, I, I was thinking about it today. I was like, I don't know if that person exists. You know, if you think about all the people that you've had intimate relationships with, um, and I look back through all those people and I'm like, there's not one of those people that I even, you know, completely agreed with. And that's somebody that you shared, you know, moments with that, you know, you don't share with normal people. And so that would arguably be the people that you would be closest to. Um, and yet we differ on stuff, you know, and yet that's just kind of the, the norm in humanity, I guess. I don't know if there's, uh, I don't know if there's too many people on earth that wholly agree with one another on every single topic, but that's, again, that's the beauty of it all. But he gets picked up on what they're calling a private citizen arrest. Now, this was in California, I believe, um, and although we can pair it with, you know, the Will Smith incident where he, you know, egregiously assaults somebody in front of the world and doesn't get charged with anything, I don't get that, but um, I, I don't know what happens in California, but I know what happens in my state. In my state, the police can't just arrest you for anything, you know. There's a whole list of things, you know, absent you having a warrant, there's a list of what they call warrantless arrest situations that, that they can pick you up for without having seen you do what you claim to have done or, or the people have claimed to you have done, uh, DWI, shoplifting, um, different stuff, domestics, that kind of stuff. But there's also a, a faction of North Carolina law that allows you to go out and seek out your own warrant on someone um, whereby you go and give your probable cause to a magistrate or judge and then they issue a warrant and then the police, you know, go and serve it and all. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe the police's hands were tied because when you watch the video that TMZ put out, it's like 59 seconds of, of this assault and uh, incident. He's just walking down a rainy sidewalk, it appears, and some security guard gets in his face, continually gets in his face. He's continuing to walk, trying to get by the guy, keeps getting in his face. You don't really see an assault. And at some point, you got to ask yourself, um, how many times can this guy just stop my you know, progress from walking here? You know, I'm walking here, right? As uh, a certain actor, Dustin Hoffman, once said, um, I, you know, I, I don't I don't really see it. But if the guy in California is allowed to make that complaint to the police, thereby, ipso facto, their hands are tied and they, you know, have to make a charge because that's what the victim supposedly uh, wants, then maybe I can understand it. But it is just kind of weird that someone who, like Killer Mike, like Ice Cube, like all these people that are kind of the outlier of, of what is being shoved down everybody's throat and what they're told to believe um, in this country about, you know, um, everything that they think, um, these, these outliers, someone was treated like that on a night where again, he, he swept all the categories and, and, 
uh, did a great job. Now, I don't watch the Grammys. I swore them off back when uh, Jethro Tull was picked over Metallica in the late 80s. Uh, yeah, Jason Newsom's got more talent in his little pinky toe that, than the entire band of Jethro Tull, including every member that's ever been in there. You know, So I, I just that was a travesty. So I, I kind of swore off. And award shows, really, it's just kind of dumb that we just you know, suckle at the teat of these stupid celebrities in the first place. But I find Mike to be a completely different, uh, genuine person um, from all the interviews and everything that I've heard from him over the years in that he's always, you know, he's ensconced in that community in Atlanta. Uh, he, you know, he's, he's trying to get businesses started. He's trying to get, you know, cultural uh, things going, you know, laws change, that kind of stuff. And while I don't agree with him everywhere, again, um, you know, that, that doesn't seem to really jive with most humans. Um, I, I do appreciate the, the candor and the, the things that he says, um, you know, and, and all, and, and I just, I found it very strange that this is what that came to, that, that we've got this arrest situation and it just kind of put a black eye on something that should have been really good because somebody who not only now there, I'm sure there's, you know, millions of people, um, who at least looked up his music uh, in the last 24 hours and have said, oh, this, is, this isn't this is bad, or, or you know, whatever, he's got all these new fans. Um, but, you know, it, it's sad that, you know, one of the quote-unquote good guys uh, on the battlefield uh, would get, you know, charged with something that on its face from the video evidence doesn't look like much of anything. Uh, but then again, you know, if I were to call up uh, Killer Mike and just ask him a single question of uh, does he believe that he's black, I am almost certain, without a shadow of a doubt, that he would instantly uh, say yes, and yet Joe Biden would not agree with that. But that's not racist at all um, to say that to uh, an entire race of people. Um, and and the fact that you know he and others like him won't just um, swallow that pill they're being told to take um, is is enough for me right there to uh to appreciate him and while we're talking about uh biden let's mention the fact that this stupid bill came out and the details from the senate have come out and i hope that speaker johnson is true to his word that it's dead on arrival in the house because i am so sick of giving billions of dollars to other countries to fight wars that are either proxy or not that we just have no business being in. And it sickens me as much as we just have this, you know, open border policy, it would seem, uh, the fact that you, the only way to solve it, uh, is by giving billions and billions of dollars, um, to other countries that just disgusts me to no end. I would rather have open borders and have this, this, influx of people who don't belong here and we'll just deal with it and sort it out as the years come than to keep putting our men and women in the military in spots of chaos all across this freaking planet because it's it's just stupid it's absolutely stupid and you know the fact that we have a military industrial complex that just has to eat um and nobody puts their foot down um, it's just ridiculous. You know, you can solve a lot of problems with executive orders and repealing the executive orders that you took away, uh, when you took office and you could close the border down tomorrow. You don't need a piece of legislation to do it. A piece of legislation that by the way, hopefully will not go anywhere because it's just full of pork fat that allows other people to profit from the warmongering machine that will just keep on rolling across this great land of ours and across the planet. So anyway, happy Black History Month, Giddy.